Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to walk around and show you some items to not throw away or declutter. We see many videos out there about, hey, get rid of this, get rid of that. And we totally understand because a cluttered home is definitely harder to clean. So I'm going to show you some things that you may want to think about before throwing away. So stay tuned while I show you around the house. Okay, one thing that I do not throw away and I keep in a file box are owner manuals. I also keep the warranties and receipt with them because they definitely come in handy. And you will be finding out more about that coming up in a upcoming video. Okay, I know this file cabinet is not the most attractive and over here, but important paperwork is in here. For example, tax type information, title information, and we label it and we have it set aside. And I do go through this every year and organize and look through and make sure I have the things that I need. Another thing I don't throw away are old medications. Some people say, well, they've expired. They don't work. They just might not be as effective. And I know, don't throw them in the garbage. I take them to a special pharmacy that takes those items so that they are disposed of properly. I also do not throw away old toothbrushes. I use them to clean in specific tight areas. Another thing I don't just automatically discard, declutter, are vintage items. The other vintage item I had, it was from the 50s. I did finally have to discard that one because it did stop working. But this particular one is from 1970. It is still going strong, has a strong motor. I'm not going to get rid of it to get a new modern one. I will keep it until it doesn't work. Which reminds me that I don't care what it looks like. Slow cooker, microwave, if it still works, I keep it. I have gone through my cookbooks and have donated ones that no longer serve me, but I am keeping the cookbooks that I do use, and I use these weekly, and they save me money because many of them have very simple ingredients. Guys, I really do regret getting rid of many of my childhood favorite toys because I always took good care. For example, I wish I still had all my Barbie stuff. I used to love to play Barbies. Love to read, and I have not and will not give away these books. Am I reading them currently? No, but I love them. Little Women, Little Men, Rebecca of Sunny Book Farms. I used to have the entire Anna Green Gables, Little House on the Prairie, and a bunch of other classic books. And so I'm not willing to get rid of those. Also, and you can't see it from over here, the Tightwad Gazette series. Some people may not feel that it's relevant to nowadays. I feel that many of Amy's and she's the author of the books, the three books of the Tightwad Gazette. Love her, and I think she's still relevant today. Okay, another thing that I don't get rid of is sometimes I do get plastic bags from different, you know, grocery stores or the places I go to. I save those, so that way if I need to put garbage or something in them, let's say we go outside, we pick up garbage in the yard, I have something to put it in. So I do save those. And this little container that I got a while back is handy dandy and it holds those so it doesn't take up much space. Another thing I'm not willing to declutter are towels. The other day when we had our repairman come for our refrigerator and freezer, we needed a bunch of these towels to mop up some water and they became or they were very, very useful. So that is something that I'm not willing to just discard and only have a few because they sure come in handy. Okay. Many people might discard this chair because it looks all worn out. To be honest, it's not even that old. It's still comfortable and I'm not going to just get rid of it. Yes, it would look nicer and be more appealing for others to look at, but you know something? I'm grateful just to have a nice, comfortable chair to sit in. Also, this desk. If I knew this ahead, I would not have purchased this type of desk that you put together and because obviously it's, you know, it's all peeled off and it doesn't look that nice, but it's, it functions and it works. Okay. I noticed something in this video. I started off showing you things I didn't want to declutter, but then I also kind of added in there things that I'm really not willing to get rid of because they're getting older. And I guess you could put them all in one lump sum. 
to sum it up, I don't want to just readily get rid of things because they may be useful. Also, I'm willing to keep things, even though they're older and they may not be the most attractive, if they're functional and useful, I want to hold on to them so I am a wise steward of what I have. Let me ask you guys a question. What are some things in your home you're not willing to declutter right now? I want to hear from you in the comments below. That's all I have to say for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And I sure hope to see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye.